fall has arrived and while the rest of you are enjoying your grande triple pumpkin spice autumn gingerbread lattes with extra whipped cream, we're here doing a little fall cleanup. After our second month in the chateau, we had a most unpleasant surprise. We lost two gigantic oak trees in our front field. I actually saw the big one come down from our bedroom window and it was really very surreal. Uvea, our donkey, wasn't pleased. Now that the wood has been sitting, it's time to finally get it organized and stacked. Then the rain came. This is Brittany after all. And then, just like that, it was gone. We're hoping the rain continues so the drought restrictions are lifted. Nice morning. Yeah. Let's find some carrots. Okay. Hey, you probably couldn't sell those in the store. No, there's <laughs> nothing you could do with them. They're a little gnarly looking. <laughs> you can hear the tractors out. It's, yeah. I guess they're finishing up the harvesting of the corn. Yep. Oh. Now that's Uvea. She's, she's been, been very vocal lately. Really? She's normally quite quiet and reserved, but we think it's because we decreased the size of their donkey area, but we don't know for sure. Around here they are. Dominic's foot seems to be much, much, much better. I don't think he's limping at all. No, he's not. The vet followed up with us and um, I called our farrier to come out and trim their hooves. Dominic's, hello, good morning, right to the carrots. Their hooves were done about three months ago. It may have been a little longer than that. I don't know. Three or four months ago, so they're, they're definitely due. Um, it's hard to get somebody out here. This is our third farrier, and... Um, He's great. So they're due for their um, pedicures <laughs> very soon. They're going to so have a spa day. <laughs> have a spa day. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks he can come. We're in the orchard this morning because we're trying to see how many trees need to be removed. Many of them have been blown over by storms and are very unhealthy. Uh, the orchard consists mostly of cider apples. Well, one of these, I'm trying to figure out which one, is this one. 
I was just trying to see if it had a lot of apples because it's really yeah. not healthy. No, this one needs to come down. Yeah. You can see. <laughs> I wonder yeah. if something lives in there. It's hollowed out quite yeah. a bit over here too. So, and everything, yeah. So this has been done by a woodpecker, huh? Look at this. I don't know. Right. I mean, this whole tree is, is pretty much hollow. Yeah. In, in parts. But um, look, there's like this whole side. I mean, yes, this is away from the sun, but this side has basically nothing on uh, it. The orchard consists only of cider apples. And we have several trees that need to come down. You can see they haven't been pruned. And our plan is to plant uh, new apple trees, apples that we can eat and cook with. Yeah, look at the size of that tree. <laughs> and there's apples up yeah, it's, about I know. 30 I was feet like, up. Are you going to get up there, Lincoln? <laughs> so we're hoping to make cider in a couple weeks. Oh, yeah, the other interesting thing, when we first arrived in France and we were, you know, driving through the countryside and we saw trees with these big balls of green on them and we couldn't figure out what they were. You know, they were like these perfectly round spheres. Came here to tour the chateau. The realtor told us this is mistletoe. And so it's we have an unlimited supply of mistletoe and it it's they're not good for the trees. Um, they're very invasive. Yeah, this tree. The whole tree. So this tree needs to come down. Yes. Look at this little tree. I never this, noticed this one. This one just doesn't get enough sun probably. No. Because it's got these huge trees behind it's it. It's pretty though. It's, it's a, a pretty tree. So how many trees do you estimate we need to take down? These three, plus the one that's over there, mm -hmm. the one with all the mistletoe, so that's five. One that was over there, six. Yeah. And here's another one that's over on its side. Yeah. Tiny one, but, so that, what's that, seven? Yeah. But we will replant new fruit trees. I think we'll start out with a few apple trees. Yeah, see, this one's doing the same thing. Yeah, look at that. It fell over ages ago, and now this huge look at that. trunk is growing straight up now. So. Yeah, it's fallen over, and the trunk has grown, and more mistletoe. The donkeys do like the little snack-sized apples. So I would like to plant maybe a couple of fig trees too. We have plenty of chestnuts. We will never be short on chestnuts. That is a, That's a huge massive tree. chestnut tree. And if anybody out there can tell us what is wrong with our quince, let us know. I often hear of chateau owners discovering items left by previous occupants, such as rare wines or beautiful chandeliers. We were left with a donkey, various odds and ends, and this lovely settee. So this is one of my favorite finds. This is an old day bed that was left in the cottage. It actually functions. Do you want to demonstrate? Sure. It, it's, it's functional. It's a pretty neat little system. I can go so like you that. can... Sure. To lounge. You can lounge. <laughs> yeah. You can sleep. Look at that, huh? Both ends. And all the mechanisms still work, right? Yeah, I think they, they need a little updating. Yeah. Whatever. It seems tired. Well, yeah. obviously, yeah. But that one goes down a little farther. Well, I think that's stuck on something. Oh, I see. I'm going to get it recovered. This is something I cannot do myself. So I'm trying to decide on choice of fabric. Do I do it in the yellow velvet again? I do like the idea of velvet, but I'm not sure about the yellow. I have several samples 
These are just two samples that I ordered. I have many more in the house. I think I like the idea of a velvet. It might not be this one, but it might be a solid color. Basically, I'm undecided. This one is velvet, and it's really pretty once you see the entire pattern. Now for this segment, Lincoln put on the wrinkliest shirt he could possibly find. This floor doesn't seem very... No, I think, I think we're going to need to replace the floor. Um, doesn't seem that sturdy, and this is the last time we'll have to see if everything under there is sound. Yeah. And then once we have it all tiled, no chance. So I'd, I'd like to take this up and probably replace it with something a little sturdier, probably some some tongue and groove wood. So you've gotten all the tile off the necessary parts except for the right. lovely toilet. I mean I'm leaving the toilet just for now so we have we're not down to just one bathroom um, but the re that wasn't the reason I left the tile around it I just didn't want to break the toilet <laughs> with the machine, oh, yeah, that, yeah. that air hammer is pretty rough and it could have just gone and Yeah, and then you'd have a big the thing. mess. It would be like... So the tile, obviously behind the pipe, that is staying because we're building right, a wall. We're, we're building a wall out here. The layout of the room is going to change. The toilet's going to be over here. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a shower with, you know, the controls on that wall coming this way have some storage inside the space since we'll have this hollow wall and two pedestal sinks around here. So what are some other issues that you discovered in this bathroom? Okay, well I was having trouble figuring out how the hot water came up to the second floor. I discovered here that it comes up, you can see it on the ceiling downstairs, that's where the water comes up from the basement, hot water to here, and then it, it travels over there to go upstairs and everything else. We need to reroute that because it, it looks kind of silly on the ceiling downstairs. I think that was done quite a long time ago. So this bathroom is really um, the main bathroom on this floor right, right. until we can build a bathroom for our main primary, the, the primary suite. And tomorrow the real work starts because we have somebody we've hired to come yes. and help you. So when will it be done? That's the million dollar question. When, when will we have a, we're down to one bathroom in this house right. and it's really a, a problem since we've removed three bathrooms so far. <laughs> yes. uh, well, I'm going to do it as quickly as I can, but yeah. you know, progress takes time Yeah. You know, and we have to do it right because it's the only time we're going to have access to this stuff. Just like I said with the floor and then the pipes over there. You know, we need to make sure that we do everything properly because everything's going to end up buried away again. So. Yeah. So you've taken out the toilet. Yes, I got the toilet out. You conquered your fear of yes, toilet it, removal. It was actually quite simple and, um, yeah. So you, you'll be no excited deal. to do it again? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a big mess up there, huh? Yeah, we're going to need to... Um, so the, just to reiterate, if the bathroom is directly above us, right? That was the you can actually we were just see at. up. You can yeah, you can see the tile that's still you can on see the wall. That, that beautiful we're cover tile. Up. Yeah. So a lot of this piping is going to come out. This is the continuation of that pipe. That's okay. So that's all going to go. All right. That oh, that's we don't good. Need. Okay. Um, and I think we need to replace this old cast iron uh, pipe because down in the basement it, it's weeping a little bit. And so then we need to straighten all this stuff out so it's pretty much in the corner. So when we finish everything up, we take these walls down and then we can have, you know, some, you know, we'll have a washer dryer there probably. Mm -hmm. Put a nice kind of work sink, but an old, something that looks like it 
came with the house, sort of, you know? Right? Yeah, something nice, though. But no, no, I mean, so, something, that, that, something that looks like it belongs here. Yeah, I'm thinking marble. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. How about like gold plated? We'll do like a, we'll do like a Donald yeah. Trump and yeah. That well, would... this this will be great to um, get these walls down and yeah, it'll open up the space so incredibly. Nice. Yeah. All right, get to it. All right. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.